Hello Leo. Thank you for clicking on my channel. Welcome to the journey home. My name is Catherine and I live in Nova Scotia. This is your Zodiac Tarot forecast for the week ahead or whenever you clicked on that title. I'm going to start with your message from your guides, guardians, angels and ancestors. And just before I begin, just to let you know, if you check the description in the video below, you'll see a myriad of ways that you can get free tarot card readings. I go live twice a week. Um, there's free tarot readings over as a member of the website at $3.99 a month. Do check it out. It's well worth it. And I'm pleased to be able to offer these things to you. But let's begin with the message from your angels, your guides, your guardians, your witnesses, your ancestors. We have the magic card. This is much like what showed up in this spread up here with the magician. But this is a new found ability that you have. And you are discovering things like through the eyes of a child. It's like the wow moments. You've been through a lot of cycles. And you're going into another one, the moon's cycles. So you're entering into a new phase, a new cycle, and a new discovery of something within your abilities. The time muster. This could be what the ability is you're discovering, is how to do that time travel trick with the time master. How to change the past and how to influence the future. So here we have it. When you draw the blade, draw it with our honor. Draw it for just, uh, just cause. Sheathe it with honor. Soul retrieval is about becoming whole again. We lose a piece of ourselves every time a relationship sh fails. But the soul retrieval shows up when we have completed that process of healing and becoming whole. The blade is actually the tool being used to manifest this. In this spread, we have awareness. There was emotional loss. Awareness is the magician's card, by the way. Manifesting. Action. And intuition. So there's some strong awareness inside of you of this change that's going on. The emotional loss helped to uh, catapult it, to, to begin that change, to begin that shift. We have patience in planning, positive movement forward, and face foundation and achievements. So whatever you are being patient about, planning, it is moving positively forward to give you a solid foundation. Could be an achievement in, in business or in marriage, in partnership. This is also about, for those of you who are coupled, your relationship ascending to a higher level of commitment. Here we have memories of love, probably from this emotional loss. Being formed are new partnerships and alliances. And the emperor, authority, someone who is established, knows what they're doing. Wants to build, build empires with you. Could be if this is tied to the memories of love. It could be that this was the past person and feeling that they're being really stubborn. But three cards pulled out on the pre-shuffle. Awareness is being clarified with the Ace of Fire. So you are coming into a new beginning that something is like passionate. If it's a new career opportunity, it's something that you're going to love doing. Empress, emotional loss, but you're ready to birth something new. I guess you've healed. Feeling stuck. Your intuition is telling you something. Possibly you're feeling stuck, but your intuition is... This is like arguing, you know, the devil on one shoulder and the angel on the other shoulder arguing with each other. That intuitive, something within your intuition uh, is stuck. <laughs> it's just stuck. So let's crack this deck. 
Be patient a little longer. You've planted some seeds that will come to harvest. Patience and planning is being clarified by the Eight of Fire. So patience and planning is going to pay off too because we have you moving to the Eight, which is communication. Communication's opening up. It could be about brainstorming when it comes to career. Or it could be just passionate messages, a bunch of Cupid's arrows coming at you. Uh, you are on a guardian's back. So this is something you're being guided towards through this patience, through this planning. It's going to pay off open communications for a fire, an ascension to a higher level com of commitment, partnership, marriage, and it can even mean partners in business. There's positive movement forward happening here. Foundations and achievements are worth celebrating. You get some good news. For some of you, you might just be uh, put a bid in on a house and uh, it went through. You know, you bought a house or you bought something major that has something to do with a home. Something worth celebrating. This could be about family reunions at the home. Gathering with friends at the home. Memories of love. Someone's coming back to make an offer of stability or an apology. Maybe a gift. Or maybe you're remembering how this person was messenger of fire there with partnerships and alliances you have a message coming in that is going to open up the path for you and as for this emperor that's your intuition this emperor's got you stuck am i doing the right thing waiting for them yes aries you are it indicates that through the patience the planning the um Seven of Earth, being patient a little longer. And there was a patience card somewhere else, wasn't there? Time Master, being able to change the past. Well, 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 Leo, let's ask the angels what the advice for you is in love. Now, I, you know, kind of jumped the gun and said, should you wait for this person? And I'm saying yes, um, but I could be wrong. I'm human, but let's ask the cards. Let's ask the angels. What is the advice for Leo regarding love? Trust. This is the one that's face up, so it's prominent. The situation is calling for you to have faith. Sorry about the glare. I'm getting used to the new light. You are in separation from this person or you've been in separation or you're about to be in separation. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits you as you forgive your parents. For some of you, it's your parents. For others, it's your past that. You're past 30 and taking responsibility for yourselves and now just healing past childhood traumas, triggers, healing, forgiving, benefits you. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations will help to bring you two together. Finances and career are, they're a factor in your love life right now. So maybe the focus should be on your own finances. You deserve love. You are so lovable, Leo, and that is a fact. So you deserve love. Focus on what the message is from your guides. Please do. That's a beautiful message. And in so doing, meditate on it. Allow the law of attraction to work its magic on you. If that resonated for you, please hit the like, share, subscribe, check the description below the video to find out ways that you can get free tarot card readings, one-on-one, -on -one, personalized, or through, just check the description out. And thank you for all of you Leos that have been so loving, supportive. God bless you. And I hope to talk to you again really soon. Bye for now.